We darn near celebrated when the kid got back, didn't we? Zolf never thought he'd see a fellow her again. We become fast friends. Calamity has that effect on people. But there was more to be done. There was one last core to find. Kid's surprised when I tell him there's only one core left. I shouldn't have believed it either. Most of the Ura never got a taste of Ceylandia's fine goods, unless they were born and raised in the city like Zia here. Sure, the world's all gone to pieces farther than the eye can see, but leave it to this gal to point out the amazing view. Girl tried to run away from home one time, but the marshals stopped that, didn't they? So many secrets in there and she can't even read it. Her father's own journal. If only I'd known half the secrets of the Calamity were tucked away in that book. I had a work to translate it right away. A scientific journal written in Zolf's native tongue. He learned so much from it. Too much. Behold, the Pantheon. We tracked the final core beyond the city to the wilds. The wild unknown. Place can eat a man alive. Place is so raw, even the calamity couldn't cook it. Not all of it. What's better than having a slinger pistol in a fight? Having two. Savage things lurking at every turn. Kids faster than a slinger with those guns. Pecker's got the core, like they're building a bastion of their own. The welcoming committee scrambles to attention. Didn't expect the kid so soon. They shouldn't have let the guard down. Getting that core was one thing. Getting out's gonna be another. He digs his way out of the clearing, but the wilds won't let him go without a fight. Wallflowers survived the calamity. It toughened him up. Same goes for the kid. Best take it real slow when pincushions are afloat. By now, kids got more needles than have been stabbed with. Slinger Johnson's old outpost is all that's left of him. Kid sticks to his old standbys. shipments made it out this far.
Don't ever turn your back on the pin cushion. Jawson's boys left all kinds of stuff out here. Kids roused up half the wilds by now. Then Kid gets the feeling he's being watched. Not by me. By a lunkhead. And lunkheads ain't fond of two-legged animals. Hit him anywhere but the hindquarters and he only make him mad. The calamity must have scrambled their eggs. Sees a smooth black stone coughed up by the calamity. Be seeing plenty more. Wild green vine apples, about the only good thing out here. The wilds already reclaimed this place. He's anxious to get back. After all, he's got the final core. His journey's over, right? Well, no. It ain't. Not by a long shot. Kid knows something's up when we ain't there to give a warm welcome. See, Zolf and I were just wrapping up a heated discussion. Zolf can barely muster the words. The calamity failed, he says. But I will not. And with that, Zolf leaves us here, alone. When Zolf got through reading that journal, he just snapped. Started smashing up the monument till I tried to stop him. Zolf cursed the city. Cursed the bastion. Cursed me. Said he was going home. Zolf banged up the monument pretty bad. But there's a way to put it back together. The shards. We're gonna need all of them to nurse the bastion back to health. The city brought the shards to the wilds. Now the kid's gonna bring him back. After Zolf's little episode, kid sets off in search of shards. First stop, Jaws and Bog. You'll get lost in that bog, I told the kid, and I won't be able to guide you back. Well, I let him go. What else could I do? What could any of us do? Zolf put us in a real bind. Hurt the bastion bad. But the shards can make it better. They're like smaller doses of the core's medicine. Shame the only place to fill that prescription is out here in the wilds. This place is intoxicating. Don't know where he's gone. Might be gone for good for all I know.
kill up some good. Let a survivor. No, ma'am. It's a lonesome ghost of a gas fella. What do you say to a kid who's seen too much? I'm Zolf of the Ura. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Now the kids see something stranger still. Did anybody else survive? Sure enough, he finds... Peckers, lunkheads, wallflowers, pincushions, fine apples, swamp weeds, ankle gators. Ceylandia's famous watering holes. He has the nerve to flash the shield he stole. The security's just gonna have to straighten him out. Sees what's left of the rippling walls. Years of work undone in an instant. He sees what's left of Pith the Bull. The gods, they're all undone. He sees what's left of his lifelong friend. His friend, he's come undone too. He sees what's left, what's left, undone. Shard ain't lost either. Not anymore. 
Now to find a ticket out of this hole. Bootlickers dig their nasty thorns into his heels. Ever heard of a lung blossom? It's bigger than the stories say. They say one whiff of lung blossom can make you lose your mind. Well, a kid prunes it down to size somehow. Mother only knows what happened in the bog. Kid never much cared to speak of it. <laughs> 